What is up guys, DZ here. Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, Farfa and I will open up 10 Master Packs and 10 Secret Packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel each week to try and improve our decks. After building our decks, we'll then play in a best of three match to determine that episode's winner. There is one catch though, there is no crafting allowed in this series outside of one very specific situation. The winner of each episode is given 5 extra packs during the next episode, while the loser is allowed to craft any one card of their choice. That is the only crafting allowed in the entire series. Tune in every Wednesday at 5pm for a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Hey guys, DZ here. Real quick before episode 7 starts, I wanted to thank you because we have been nominated because of your votes in MBT's upcoming YugiTuber award show for our series. At the top of this video's description, I will post a link to go vote if you would like to vote for Master Saga. But of course, just like the last time I shouted this out, honesty is the most important thing here. If you like one of the other choices, by all means, go vote for them. But if you do enjoy Master Saga, I really would appreciate your vote. I think it would be kind of cool to win that category, but uh, you know, we'll just have to see but I will post a link in the description below. Anyway, back to episode 7. YouTube! Back at it again with... Damn, I lost another week! What can I say? The Raid Raptors didn't quite work out the way that I thought they would. It's, it's amazing how having to draw rank 4 play and plus rank up was somehow not going to win. Who could have ever have foresaw that happening? Well, we'll see if this week can be any better. Uh, I don't know, I'm hoping to pivot completely off of the uh, Nightingale strategy. That just isn't doing enough by itself. I believe, though, Ultra in pack number one. Come on, give me something spicy out of this. Ooh, we've got an Ultra, and it is... That's my second cowboy. <laughs> two supers. Very good. This is two secret packs. It could be good. Shadals. And Kwakimeru. I don't know if Ad Emancipators are in there, but Shadal is a big pack to open here. All right, maybe there's something good in Shadals there. Nothing here. Yummy my dog! Yummy money! A Parshath! Wow! Honestly, I'm like this close to like playing Parshath anyway, to tell you the truth. Nothing here. Any hollows? A dragon duo. And a DD warrior lady. Oh, it titan forged into a super rare skill prisoner. This doesn't even unlock a pack, it's just like a card. Uh anything here? Uh <laughs> Well, that's a good secret pack. Brum. Absolute dragon. And uh, next up is first movement solo. A scrap goblino. Final pack is come on. Eh, red eyes. Okay, well, I mean, do we turn to the dark side and go down the tri brigade route or uh try and be a little bit more fun? All right. 10 master packs. I heard that Farfa opened up his packs earlier than I did and that his pulls were very good. No idea what he pulled, but a lot of people came over from his chat into my chat and were like, oh man, Farfa's deck is crazy this week. So we're gonna uh, open our packs here and see what we get. We have, okay, a few hollows, a few hollows. So I'm really open to a lot of strategies this week. Now that we have Shadal's, we can play a variety of decks, and uh, specifically an Earth deck would be pretty good. Okay, Noble Knights. So we have Shadals with Shekinaga and Winda and the Water and the Wind fusion. No Construct. So normally when you have Shadals, you'd be like, oh, you probably want a Light deck. And I do have a BLS, so I kind of want to build a Light deck. But we don't have Construct, so that might be kind of tough. Now, if Farfa's deck really is powerful, you know, maybe we get a Craft next week. But we're not trying to, like throw a week just to craft construct especially because we have episode 10 coming up in a few weeks here and that's going to potentially hit a new card okay if this is my only ultra that's going to be kind of tough we are kind of like off the fire fist i really did have a lot of fun last week playing the um abomination that we built oh these packs are horrible <laughs> this is not good oh that's not good either hey a fire fist card maybe we should play fire fist Please give me a playable super rare. <laughs> Grand Pulse though? Yeah, Grand Pulse is good. As like a rank three. Unfortunately, does not open a pack though. Spellbooks? Ignites. It's gonna be a rough week, huh? <laughs> I'm already feeling it. Where's the hollows? Uh, oh no. 
I'm not impressed with any of the cards we've opened this week. This is really depressing. Last pack. Oh my gosh, there's no hollow in it. Oh no. Oh wait, okay. Sure, this is gonna be terrible. Let's have a look here through these uh, secret packs we've unlocked and see what's in here. Red eyes, not even gonna look at these. Automata pair up. Some good cards here. Uh, Melodious. This looks very playable. These are all low rarity common cards and they all seem to have like effects. Also rare Lost Wind is like very good. Um, Echo Chamber Nation. Well, I mean, this is obviously the best pack, you know. All right, I hate having to do this, but purely because of the fact that I need to kind of recoup some of these losses and I am currently losing 4-2. I think I have to try give myself some kind of chance at coming back into the game. And so I've decided to go with the a little bit more standard meta pack of that is Tri Brigade. So here we go. We've already got Ferragi under the belt and we got a craft this week. So we are uh, definitely going to be in a really good po position. Let's see how it goes. All right, Hollow is Springan's Watch, and that is a very good pull. Off the bat, we've got Nerval and Revolt. Boy, if this is a Shurig. It is actually not a Shurig. It's a Master Hyperion. Oh my god, okay. Uh, next up is Pinpoint Landing. There's a Rugal. That's very good. Second Nerval. That's really good. All right, we need some good main deck moss. We need kits, we need Nervals, and we need Fractals. Fractal, Nerval! That's very good, that's very good. Oh no, I feel so bad for Doug. I think we might just be steaming this week. Revolt! Hawk! And Assault? If we pull Shurig. Uh, Super Electromagnetic Turtle and a- Yo! I have a Hawk and a Titan! Alright, baby, give me a Shurig! Uh, oh my god, this box is insane! Alright, that's all my Revolts. Second Ferragite. Oh. Really needed a Bear Brum instead, but if this is Shurig, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fractal. <laughs> Bro, I'm sick. <laughs> I mean, that's the end of the series, right? Like, that's just, that's just it, right? This is not looking too good for Douglas. All right, we get a craft as well, by the way. Don't forget, we also receive a craft. Oh my god, are we just gonna pull Bear Brum? Yo! <laughs> Spring Guns! Best deck! Okay, all right, very good. Uh, let's see what we can come up with. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Two best cards are ultra rare. Still, thank you. <laughs> let's take a look at this one. I've unlocked this one a couple times. I have a Dragon Ravine, by the way. This is only a rare. Romulus is a rare. Ignoble Knights? No, too many hollows. No, nope, too many ultra rares. There's no way this pack. Is this just fucking charmers? Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, we're gonna go in this pack. It's not a true Draco pack like I thought it was, but this pack has a bunch of Dynamist cards. We have 15 packs this week, so we're gonna pull a bunch of cards. Howling is like a super rare, but everything else is super low rarity. I mean, yeah, Rex is a super rare, but you don't need Rex to like play the game. So yeah, we're gonna go for this. Here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I think we have to get pretty crazy pulls to have a chance this week. Okay. I like that. Um, okay, Eldixer. <laughs> um, no Dynamis cards. Ignite cards, though. Should play the Dynamis story mode sneakily. Yeah, <laughs> just go by his back and play Dynamis mode. Yeah, the Eldritch, we could actually, we have the five bonus packs. We could go out of the Eldritch pack for that, but I mean, that's probably not good. But one Eldritch would be very good. Empowerment, terrible. <gasps> Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Two Dynamis. And Spinos is a very important one. You know, for weeks, this game has wanted me to play Pendulums. You know, we pulled Wisdom Eyes, we pulled Pen Call, we pulled all sorts of stuff. And this week, I'm finally doing it. Unless we keep pulling stuff like this. <laughs> so we are getting, like, slightly better packs than I thought. Never mind, there wasn't. Oh, Dynamis Charge. Nice. Dynamis again. Cool. Oh. What do we got? <gasps> Ice Dragon's Prison! This was in that Dragoonity pack that we passed up. We got an Ultra Rare, show me something good. I don't really know what Ultra Rare I'm going for though. We'll see if it's out of the pack. Oh, it is. Okay, I guess like the Fusion Monster would be pretty good. Um, wait, what? Oh, Samorg Onslaught. What? We really did not pull that many Dynamist cards. I'm actually kind of sad about that, but maybe we can make something work. 
That's a Dino Mist card right there. We're just gonna go five more packs out of this. Pack number one. Pack number two. Oh, wow. <laughs> a second Howling? Pack number three. No Dino. Oh, no, Dino Mist Charge. Okay, that's great. Pack number four. Ah. Pack number five. Show me the way. Link Garibo. <laughs> um, okay, let's build a deck. Let's see what's going on. YouTube back at it again with another week. And unfortunately, like I said, I, I didn't want to be boring. I hated to be that guy. You know, you guys want to see a fun series. I really wanted to play Melodious, but I'm really badly down. <laughs> like, I need to get some wins back here. Doug should be able to easily destroy this deck on the next ban list. And I didn't really have a choice. I have to get back because even if I win the next three episodes... I'm only going to be ahead by 5 to 4. Funnily enough, I didn't pull any Keras. <laughs> so no try extenders but I can't really complain because I pulled a Shurig. So my only hard, like, craft that I needed to for losing was going to be Bear Brum. But yeah, it's surprisingly difficult to fill out the main deck with cards once you've gone through the main core. Don't have a lot of hand traps, don't have a lot of other things that I can really put in here. And the extra deck as well just has a bunch of rubbish we can't really <laughs> play outside of the 10 core cards. So yeah, this is pretty much it. There's nothing really special. Uh, some cards you might not be familiar with. There's uh, Wing Requital. It uh, pays costs for 600 and draws two when you control two Wing Beasts with different names. That's really good with the Liralusk engine. Obviously, this maxing out on Revolt, which I was very lucky to pull, and I pulled three of everything. Very fortunate of all is the, the Fractal, um, which was really good. And so yeah, no complaints from me. Uh, <laughs> just see how it goes this week. We'll just throw all these in a deck and see what it looks like. Well, we do have the searchers for it. Multiple searchers for it. This just doesn't seem like a deck. We didn't pull enough of the base rare Dino Mist cards. I'm so sad. And we didn't pull the trap searcher for Magispectors, which is kind of rough too. Okay, I think I'm going to play this deck for fun. Is there any tuners that we have that could cheese out Ignister though? Okay, hear me out though. Is this really that bad? Is this really that bad? Just as a free tuner, we can special summon when going second. I don't think that's that bad. This card seems like really good. So we have to actually play one of these level fives, or probably both, honestly. That can't be good. <laughs> this card's insane, though. Like, I don't think this deck's gonna win, but I think it's funny. I'm feeling confident this week, I will say that. I wonder what you've brought, though. I have brought a pile. Sorry, it took me so long to build the deck there. You shouldn't have started early with the deck building because it took me like so long because I really felt like I had four different decks that I wanted to play this week and I really could not decide, but oh, I think this funny. one's like the finest, I, uh, so I'll try it. I had plenty of options, uh, so it's so not really, <laughs> I'd say. So it, it was, uh, yeah, the opposite of plenty of options. Yeah, I basically had no okay, options. Okay, um, it was like make this deck or bust. Okay, right. this hand is interesting. Okay, well... I guess you'll see my strategy. I'm gonna normal summon Magispector Yada. <laughs> my god, Magispectors? That's based. Okay, so yeah. these cannot be targeted or destroyed. Yep. This is a whole ass archetype of cannot be targeted or destroyed. Uh, tribute of Wind and then target them all your opponent controls and destroy it. Okay, all right, respectable. We got Magispector Stun here. Is that Paul yeah. Penny monster or face ups? Um, yeah, any monster, any monster. I have to tribute okay. a Wind spellcaster to pop a monster, yep. Um, well, Doug, I am going to activate... No, <laughs> no, don't say Lightning Storm. Oh, right, okay. Right. No, you did pull it! I, I was like, worst case scenario, he got into the tri Brigade pack, and he's playing a Constructed deck. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, it's um, pretty lucky. Yeah, that's fine. You know, it could have happened. That's just... <laughs> Let's just, let's just send. All right, kit effect. Go Nerval. Nerval effect. Gonna add a kit. <laughs> wow, this uh -huh. is great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And? <laughs> think I'm scared? Think no. Um, so here's the funny thing, Doug. Um, mm -hmm. I pulled zero Keras. <laughs> like, none. Oh, so no extenders. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be real with you. I have no way to extend. Okay, yeah, we'll just summon kit here. Hello. <laughs> Would you like to destroy Kit on summon? Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of this. Here we go. Magispector Cyclone. <laughs> yep. Okay. 
It's like a yeah, no, really bad protocol. Okay then, that's fine with me. We're just going to set three. Oh gosh. Um. Okay, that's fine. End phase. You have something. You don't have revolt, right? What rarity is revolt? <laughs> well, revolt is a common, so. Oh, it is, is it? Okay. <laughs> I will be honest, Revolt is and not a got, difficult uh, card to pull. So you got four cards in Grave? Yeah, nice. Well, I just gonna... realized I have a really bad card set. Summon Bunbuku. Oh, okay, Bunbuku. This yep. is... Yeah, this card's a common for some reason. Not so bad. So that's nice, at least. From here, I guess you got another Yada. Why not? Yeah, look how dead this card is. <laughs> like, this is the deadest card in the game. <laughs> All right, attack with Bunbuku. Battle phase. Uh, I will take the 12. Okay. Yeah, set one pass. Okay, end phase. Mm -hmm. I am going to Olenoites. Oh, shit. Uh, that's banish good. Banish the new set. Uh, pop the new set. Damn, that sucks. This was such a good card that I had set. Oh, damn. Ice Dragon. Yeah. Uh, Ice Dragon. <laughs> that would have been On nice. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Roll? Activate Revil. I will judge with that. So maybe you don't have a no! Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Second oh. revolt set, maybe? No, 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 no. That's actually really funny. I think, like, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't care about the one that was just set since it's not live. No, no, no. You definitely made the right play. Like, you always pop the one that's they can't chain. Well, here's normal Nerval. <sighs> yeah, it's <normal> <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's just uh, like playing the ranked ladder. It's just like platinum. I'm going for four. No, you're not. Come on, oh, you're not going, I'm going for, for four. <laughs> oh my god. What there the fuck? <laughs> uh, I mean, I can do this, but it doesn't really help. Oh, that damn. That's okay. Yeah, I, for, I saw that last week, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, been okay. pretty good so far. Yeah, that's fair. So this is the card that actually got me into this pack was... Whoa, why did I just take 300? Uh, 3,000? Because of the Ghost Mourner. Wait, she, is that what she said? Yeah, I'm... if the monster leaves the field, you take three. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. Okay. Dude, this is so ridiculous. You have okay. two of the... What rarity is that? Oh, I can just click it. Everyone gets all, always mad at me for not clicking the card. <laughs> rarity. What rarity is it? It's rare. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I just get another... Try for next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, was that the th third fractal? Uh, yeah, I, I was pretty fortunate with fractal. Mm, okay. Now, to be fair, he is a rare. Yeah. But uh, I think I would take three fractal over Keras, probably. Probably. One Keras. Uh, so you did use judgment. Yep. So let's uh. See what we can go for here. Um, so you have two. Banish these yeah. two. Well, surely you didn't sure. pull a, a bear brum, right? That that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. So very fortunate for me was my craft this week uh -huh. was. Uh, so after after so I pulled the Ferrigi, which unlocked the pack, mm -hmm. and then I pulled the Shurig, so I just crafted Bear Brom after. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is just game on board. But what's that other thing this deck had? Just in case you have another pop, let's just use Bear Brom's effect. Uh, wait, this is a really what? funny card, Doug. I have a Ring of Destruction. I'm going to discard. <laughs> if this card into the graveyard, or wait, discard two cards to oh to banish a special outcome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, Ring of Destruction is a really funny card against, uh, Magic Spectre. Yeah, because it doesn't work at all. <laughs> Literally uh, nothing. Five, yeah. Okay, what do you have here? I am extending into the biggest, fattest Mirror Force ever. You don't yeah, seem to be convinced that this is game. game. Well, no, you just yeah, said why that you were bad at math from the IQ test, so I just didn't take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so don't worry, Doug. Just hang in there. Only two more weeks of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just won't play like a meme deck next week. Well, I mean, okay, they're all that's... meme decks because we're playing Master Saga, but like... <laughs> oh! Wait, is this good?
No, it's not. It's so close to being good. My deck sucks. Um, <laughs> Are you having oh trouble gosh. back there with your Magic Specter deck? Dog? Normal summon cat. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so wow. It searches, but in the end phase. <laughs> yep, it sure does. <laughs> That one. Okay, maybe um, you've got the solemn warning back there, I think. What is it called? Yeah. Storm? Tornado? Alright, Nekomara Pass. There may or may not be a little power level difference here. Yeah. No, this kind of feels like last week a little. Well, I don't know. You know, that's what it's all about. Getting it back and forth. Yeah, Activate Bird Call, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> like, other than like switching that. my deck completely, I think if I could have gone back, I would have just tried to look for, like, generic high skills to play instead of just trying to play, like, good cards. I think I should have went for, like, high skills. So I have a lot of good low skills, but... I think in hindsight, it just depends on, um, uh, or rather what my deck's power level's at. Yeah. <laughs> good cards is, like, okay, depending. I think that, like, the main issue is that this Pendulum deck, because, like, Pendulum decks needs to draw, like, a lot of Pendulums to play the game, and I think against, like, a good deck, playing a janky Pendulum deck isn't really that valuable. Um, what if I do this? Does this do anything? Oh! Okay. Uh, um... That negates the summon, correct? What? Okay. This just says not from field to grave? Oh, of course, because then you're Nadir Servant thing. Yeah, you can Nadir it. I mean, I'd, I'd still do that play. I'd still do that play. But, yeah, not as good. Fair, fair, fair. All right, what do we have here? Um... <laughs> this is such a disaster. I don't think I can put Revolt online here, actually. Cry about oh, it. Oh, no, I can. I can, I can. Yeah, of course oh, you can. Oh, you oh, have the combo right just... there. <laughs> you just told me to cry about it. Is really just gonna play Tribrigate the entire time? Eh, I mean, fine. with the ban list in a few episodes, like, he can't. I mean, this is probably fine, right? All right, let's uh, pitch this and this. This uh, card's like super good. A material. In our like, I've never even seen a Bear Room effect activated in real life, but it seems really good right here. Just for like Ball bridging search. the gap. For Fractal. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just, let's just uh, go into this here. Yeah, right, yep, yeah, buttons. There we go. We do like a little bit of button pressing. Yeah. Uh, okay, battle phase. What? Uh, attack. <laughs> how, how have you minus this much? Ah, uh, don't worry, Revolt's gonna get us back there. Yeah, that's true. Also, did you hard draw the Revolt? Because you didn't search it. I may or may not have. Um, well, I you didn't use the Bear Room effect, is... so... <laughs> None of these were summoned correctly. Okay, so I have to go into Ferragi here. You have two of that? Oh my... <laughs> I don't know what, what the hell, dude. <laughs> I think this is this makes it live. Yes, it does. Okay, very cool. <laughs> uh, and now we've got a live uh, Rugal. Uh, Shurig, rather. <laughs> it wasn't summoned correctly, was it? Maybe not? I'm not sure. Wait, there's rock cards in here? That's amazing! <laughs> Summon Analyzer. I mean, honestly, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, maybe you should have played Tri- Why do I need to be good at the game to play tri -Brigade? This is how this yeah. works. Yeah, anyway, normal Summon Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my man. <laughs> nice <just> revival. <laughs> That's insane. And then we can go scale uh -oh. this. Uh-oh. From the so... extra deck except armor phages. Do you have any armor phages back there? No, not in the extra deck. But we can All go right. pendulum summon this. Oh, pen good stuff. It really is just pen good stuff. I was trying to go for dynamis because they're all low rarity and I pulled like... Decently for them, but not enough of the. I only pulled like one of the high skills, so the deck was kind of awkward. Because the Dynamist pack had Magus Factors, Dynamist, and Ignites, and all the Ignite cards were just so terrible. But. I love over. Ignite. It's just, uh, unfortunately, has Let's a little search. bit of an issue when it comes to um, maintaining advantage post Master Rule 4. Aren't you, like, kind of fucked right here? <laughs> uh, yes. There's yes, one okay. out in my deck, though. <laughs> This is kind of like There's when you a... first played Leerlisk and you had no extra deck monsters. <laughs> uh, okay. I yeah, yeah, we just play with our main deck, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, charge! Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, one thing is that this deck was like really hard to build after like twenty-five cards. Right. Like you really like scrape the bottom of the barrel okay, to find some so cards that uh. It has to be Spinos. This one's like clearly the best one, right? That we own, I think. Uh, it works for that other series, so... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. All right. Do we have an answer here? Yeah, people were asking if I was going to play the field spell, and no. I was like, well, I don't think Farfa's playing Despots, so probably not. <laughs> All right. Let's sure. us maintain the, the punching. Yep. What else could we do? All right, so you can pop to protect and then return. Wow, fair. wait. Am I going to win this after that crazy opening? I think you, I, this sloth, I think, is uh, oh my putting gosh. you in a pretty good spot here. Let's see in Canada, <laughs> I guess. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Um, wow, wait, this is insane. We can go... Oh, maybe craft system down, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> that does nothing <laughs> to my Magispectors. We've reached a, a real next level here. Yeah, this is, uh... Do this one. Oh, God, this is so rough. And then... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We just want to attack. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... my gosh. Yeah, dude, Sloth is so good against Revolt, because you, you can't, like, preemptively... Like, you wouldn't have Revolted just an Analyzer. Like, that'd be horrible. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wait, oh, I could've... Okay. Oh, yeah, dude. DZ for not reading cards. Name a more iconic duo. Um, I could've tributed this Dynamist for more damage. I guess I'll do that now. That's my bad. I don't know what these Dynamist cards do, you guys. I played Fire Fist for five episodes and still didn't know what they were doing, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that would've right, been game! Few... No, that would've been game! Few top decks. Few top decks. Few top I just decks. realized you're at 20... How are you at solo life points? Come on! Oh my god! Okay, this this gets somewhere. No, I'm All gonna right. get punished, Chad. No. Alright, we're gonna bird call. Wait, I can still summon from my grave, right? Yeah. Don't worry, we got it. It's my first time playing Dynamist. Literally my first game playing this deck ever, so we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's my first time playing Tribegate as well, don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is going for that, yep. Uh, okay, cool. Alright, here we go. Alright, now... 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 I activate Pot of Greed! This card allows me to draw two cards from the top of my deck. Okay, that's pretty strong. Wow. Yeah, that card's good. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Cards have been drawn. Cards have been drawn. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so let me think about this. Let's go... So now that I know about that interaction, I can go normal this, mm -hmm. activate Spinos. Oh, this uh, attacks directly, right? It does, in fact, attack directly. I can't get away from playing Mellow Seed cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, let's go Battle Fizz. Oh no, is this the final blow? No, what do you have? No, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh, shit. We I mean, I can something. chain this to at least get rid of this card. That's probably a nerve all face down. You've kind of used a lot of your extra deck cards, though. You've gone through, like, a lot of stuff. That was a nerve all, or no? Oh, it's a trick waste. Okay. I definitely didn't need to go through some of those cards, trust me. <laughs> okay, so main phase two will pen summon. Go for this, go for this. I really do like the pendulum summoning animation in this game. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks great, but uh, the pendulum mechanic as well has uh, unfortunately not been fixed. Konami, <laughs> how could you do this? Hmm, um, okay. Did I know the card in your hand? It's a, it's a Dino Mist, right? No, you don't know the card in my hand. Oh, okay. Just go and a mad spec the cyclone. Okay, sure. Yeah, kind of a weird spot to be in. I feel like for me. Mm. Why? Because you're going to lose. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> then I can't. No, I'll just pass. I think that's really bad, but it is what it is. End phase revolt. Yeah. Oh. Why not? What do you mean? <laughs> why not? Why are you going for that one? Now you don't have uh, one less monster zone to summon a card to you. I'm trying to, uh... Are you going for a two? I or forgot you... zones were a thing with this card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, is it still alive, though? It's Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, there you go. Easy clap. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, because you can just go for it, yeah. Rewatch people worried. How could they worry? Look at that. Yeah, three bodies, the, three uh, monsters. Link 3 was Easy summoned plot. properly. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're going to one banish. We're going to two search. And we're going to three reduce attack. God, you just have so many monsters on the board. Um, Pendulums. Yep. Add this. I think I have to get rid of this on... Yeah, no. Okay. That's rough. I think that part of the, like... I don't know if beauty is the right word, but, like, the cool thing about this series is that, like, yeah, you're playing, like, Tri-Brigade Learless, but, like, you randomly have a Quaking in there. Like, we both have, like, random <laughs> one-ofs that, like, can come in clutch. Like, I have, like, I have Blackhorned or whatever. That card's, like, not played in real Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it's, like, really fun. As fun as Tri-Brigade Black Blackhorn of Heaven, huh? That's, uh, one of the... It's a, It was such a good card back in, uh, what's it called? Uh, 2014. There's like yeah. so many XC summoning and stuff. Um, target. Okay. Banish something here. Remember that time that I, I got rid of the uh, dynamo skill here. <laughs> I I don't know if I miss lethal. I don't. No, think I miss lethal. I, oh, I did you? Okay, yeah, I sure. did. Because I. Uh, these are just beat sticks now. Smile. I mean, I guess I just have to clear everything. Get rid of this. 18. This adds back, sure. I clear this. I don't, yeah, this, hmm, unless I missed something, I really didn't see a way to clear game here. No, I don't think there was one. And this. Uh, I think I get like another attack directly here. You have two. Yeah. Two more. Yep. Boing and boing. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's set and go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't think it's another play. Galing Spine Off. Oh, God, you have a response. No, not like this. <laughs> I mean, it's Nightingale. Quick effect. Oh, okay. Is this game... Is this one better? I, I don't know. No, I have to Pendulum too. Summon, so I have to go for this one. How does this win me again? <laughs> so Pendulum <laughs> this. Add Magic Spectre Storm. Okay, here we go. Let's Normal Summon this guy. Whoa, okay. Yeah, sorry, I had to like read this guy's um, effect a hundred times because it has like four effects or something. Well, I'm gonna just book that. <laughs> Did you like, how do you have all these paleos? I don't know, just random master packs. <laughs> Dang. Battle phase. Yep, the phase has been battled. I guess we protect with Nightingale here. Yep. Are you trying to like dip me into like damage step uh, <laughs> something that... No, I just was trying to waste the material real quick. Does this save you? Kind of. Because okay. I'm at 42. Yeah, I'm not necessarily dead. This is really awkward. Okay. I'm not dead on board yet. Uh, Chat, don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. That is true. Don't give up hope. Oh. Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> I activate Barrel Canary. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just I drew him on. Wow, this is like the best possible top deck because now it's Oh my right. gosh. <laughs> Could the link yes. be bounced instead? Then he just uses the uh Farage or the Fractal to special yeah, summon. And then I can just use the Fractal. Yeah. So no it can't. Dang, uh, dude, I threw I could have brought it back and it was so good. Wait, really? No, yeah, yeah. The a couple turns ago I went like attack put you to twenty five or put you twenty four, I guess. And then main phase two, like summon a 2,500 guy and then add back the 1,800 guy. So that's yeah. a lot of yup word to me, but I'm gonna take your word for it. Don't worry, I basically Doug, didn't you, realize like, that I, I could dynamis charge to get a, anyway. a second monster on the board. That was a GG's though, man. The Quaking Mirror Force two episodes in a row has been a huge problem.